turn left on East 17th Avenue, then turn right. They let go inside of places like this, and it's like you're in and out before anybody even knows. Turn right on Broadway. Yeah, it's like a disaster. So up here we're gonna we're gonna pull up to the bank, and it's gonna it's kind of a cool view on the outside of it. It looks like a bank, you know, with the big pillars, like I've made of granite. So make sure we catch that. Use the entrance in the back of the bank. Yesterday was a bad day to wear shoes with holes in them. Yeah, so I said that. Do you have any idea how long this place has been abandoned for? So I think I saw upstairs in this room there's a calendar that was from like 2003 or something like that. So it had to have been well, probably somewhere around that time. So there's the sensor that's capturing the picture. And usually it's in like thousands of seconds, but in this instance, it's, uh, it's not, you know? It's like open for a long time. So if I just took a regular picture, it'd be black. But since I took a picture here and have, the, have it open so that it is longer time that it takes to get the picture exposed onto the sensor, And you'll see in a second what you get. All right, so that's too exposed. Okay. And see this so mirror in the back there? It, huh? It's like the mirror was like too too much light on the mirror. So I can just remember 122. And so the way a safety deposit works at the bank is when you rent one, the bank keeps a key and the bank gives you a key so when you come in then they uh, they go through and they kind of bring you back here and then they put their key in you put your key in you open up the door you pull out your little tray you put your valuables in it and then you close it back up and then you know everything's all good so that's where you securely store your stuff but look at it, all of these that are still locked it's like, is there good shit inside of these? Because technically the bank can't open them up. The bank only has one key. And the way that you, if you're a locksmith, the way you open it up is there's things called a nose puller. So you pull both of these things and then you can get in there with a little lock pick and then it opens it up. So, but it takes so much time and you can see where people just like brute force beat these things in. But what's in the rest of these? I don't doubt there's at least a dollar in one of these boxes. You know, they would send the notice out to everybody like, okay, we're closing, come get your shit out of your safety deposit box. But what about the people that miss that email or phone call? I don't know how successful people in the past have been. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they probably have a checklist that says which ones did they... Uh, let the people know about and like which who didn't come and claim their box Yeah, who knows what could be in here. Yeah, exactly
This is the last great urban explorer. Too bad he didn't make it out. So, that's your job. Just stand back here and push that button when I tell you to. Okay. Okay. Just the, the shoot button? Yeah. And the light will start blinking. Okay, it's good. It's waiting however many seconds, five seconds or something like that. Come out good? Uh, I think we could do like rule of thirds or something here. You need, need Gary contacts? Here's the roll of decks. <laughs> taking stuff off of the safe over the years. So there was cool dials and gears and all kinds of stuff on here. And uh, people pulled all the stuff off. Here's a dial though. Still one dial. Yeah. That's cool. I like this. About five years ago, this room right here was like probably totally awesome. In 10 years, it's just be a and rubber stamps. Oh, cool. What is it? Fire VI Fire Victim. Oh, wow. Fire Victim. That's <laughs> awesome. And the other one says D R A F. Draft? Yeah, draft. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Probably some homeless people at a campfire. into there there's a bunch of us yeah like I'm gonna go upstairs but this the stairs was totally covered with couches like people threw couches down from the upstairs into the stairwell oh wow so I started climbing up the stairs uh, you know on top of the couches one mile. and then everybody then was like oh that's a little bit too much for me and uh, so that was it then so I never went up there either Correct, kid there bro 